Greetings folks, I have some more cool gear to show you from Foxear, new releases, we have the Foxear Lollipop 4 Plus antennas, a couple of weeks ago I showed you the Lollipop 4 antennas, these are the higher quality and a little bit more expensive versions, and we also have the Reaper all-in-one uh, F745 40, uh, 45-amp uh, quad flight control board, I'm not a quad flyer, but uh, we can have a look at it. It'll be interesting anyway. Um, just beta flight. It's not supported in INAV just yet, as far as I know, but uh, it should be in the future, I would imagine. All right, so let's first of all have a look at the Lollipop 4. So it comes in a pair, uh, neatly packaged, and that's all there is in the package. This is the UFL tube version, uh, so it's the UFL connection on the end with a little supporting tube on the top there. First thing you'll notice actually is that it is uh, smaller and sort of smoother rounded shape compared to the Lollipop 4. Uh, but let's have a look at the website, that'll give us the best information. So we can see it is about $30 US compared to the 4 which was about $20 US. Comes in all the same different varieties of uh, connections. Uh, polarization, direction, uh, different lengths as well. Now the Lollipop 4 Plus is high quality uh, FPV Omni LDS antenna. Uh, I didn't know what LDS was so I did a quick search and uh, LDS means laser direct structuring. That means that the uh, antenna can be printed on to a uh, injection molded plastic shape. Uh, so if we look at, scroll down, have a look at the antenna layout, uh, the element layout. It's a, it's a plastic tube with the metal elements um, kind of printed on or uh, stuck on around the shape compared to the lollipop which was a uh, um, sort of spir three spiral elements, a uh, bit more traditional looking. Anyway, in theory the LDS layout gives us better uh, omnidirectional gain, I guess. If you have a look at the, the gain um, mapping, uh, it's a nice sort of almost spherical apple shape compared to the lollipop, which is a bit more of a flatter uh, a flatter disc shaped I suppose, although they are at different frequencies so I don't know how relevant that is. Anyway, you can get all the different connectors, straight MMCX, UFL, angle MMCX, RPSMA, SMA and angle SMA and you can get them with uh, the UFLs, you can get it sort of unsupported or, or flexible UFL cable uh, or the little bit of a tube as well, same with the MMCX and different lengths as well, so very versatile options available. Unfortunately I can't test it at the moment because I don't have uh, a video transmitter with the UFL connection but in the future I'll be able to compare them side by side. Um, I don't know whether there's going to be a big difference in actual signal strength or um, interference rejection. Testing antennas I've found that uh, it's very very hard to get a good uh, definitive answer about which is the best one uh, but the build quality and the sort of the uh, durability may be a bit better with the Lollipop 4 Plus. Anyway, I'm just letting you know that it's available and um, thank you to Foxeer for sending it to me to have a look at. Alright, so now let's have a look at the Reaper All-in-One F745 45 Amp uh, Quad Flight Control Board. There it is there. Uh, now, just to notice on the back you've got a QR code for the manual. Um, there's the little board. It's a 32.5 millimeter by 32.5 millimeter layout. 45 amp continuous and 50 amp burst current. Let's go to the website again. That's the best way. 2 to 6S power. Uh, 16 meg onboard black box. MPU 6000 gyro and accelerometer set. 5 UARTs. Uh, and what else can we see? Bill Heli S 4-in-1 ESC. And we can see the dimensions here, 32.5 by 32.5, 25.5 to the centres for mounting. It's supplied with battery cables XT60 and XT30 and a capacitor, 470 microfarad capacitor. And this plug here 
which is for connecting the DJI HD FPV system straight into the unit. Uh, over on here, RX and TX2 and RX1 are for connecting the DJI system. We have motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 here. The uh, three motor wires connecting straight onto the board. Uh, beeper over here. See the arrow here? Uh, that means that this here is the front of the board. So there's the boot button opposite the boot button. Boot button goes at the back of the board basically and this corner faces front. We have uh, UART4 here plus the I2C for the um, GPS and compass and camera connections here, video transmitter here and uh, video transmitter control as well. And scrolling down this shows uh, how you, you can uh, solder up that cable that they've supplied uh, for the DJI unit which is very nice. A very good wiring diagram here. We've got uh, receiver and uh, crossfire set up there, uh, video camera and video transmitter into, into uh, TX7 for control of the video transmitter through Betaflight. So although I can't really test it out, uh, let's uh, plug it into Betaflight anyway, just uh, because we can. So let's connect him in, micro USB connection. Come on, here we go. So that is connected straight away. Close and there we go. Where's the boot button? So that's the front there and it's showing on the screen nicely. Ports that shows we have uh, actually eight UARTs, but uh, not all of them available, I guess. Configuration uh, looks familiar, but I don't really understand beta flight, unfortunately. Modes shows what modes are available. Um, angle horizon, head free, fail safe, head adjust, beeper, LED low, etc. etc. They're all quad things, not uh, motor things. OSD, we have the beta flight OSD. So let's go to the CLI and see what version we have loaded on here, what the target is. So it's Foxier F745, all in one. Now, uh, we should actually have a look at uh, iNav and see what they've got there. Let's just open up iNav and have a sticky beak. See what happens when we try and connect not supported. That's cool. So if we look at the firmware flasher to see what is available, I know this board isn't, isn't supported, but uh, there is the Flywolf. Um, I know that's not Flywolf, but it, that's the way I read it. I think that's funny. Flywoo F745 board. Uh, so F745 is supported, just not this particular board yet. So there you go, two pretty cool looking products from Fox here. Uh, unfortunately, I can't test them out fully, so you wouldn't think this is a proper thorough review, just a show and tell really. Lollipop 4 Plus and the Reaper all-in-one F745 flight control board. Might be interesting if you're into quads. Thanks for watching.